I didn't want to go on our family vacation because my sister always makes me babysit late at night. Every time we go out, I'm stuck looking after my three nephews. It got so bad that I had to move out of my parents' house. Last summer, we went to the beach for vacation. My parents paid for my hotel room, but I had to share it with my rowdy nephews because my sister and her husband wanted their own room. They said I'd have time for myself, but I ended up babysitting again. I complained to everyone about how I felt, but they reminded me that I was getting a free trip. We mostly did only one thing I wanted to do, which was visit an art gallery. I love doing this when I'm at the beach, but the kids don't like it. This year, my parents planned another beach trip for June, assuming I'd go along like last year. But I refused. I said I'd drive myself and pay for my own hotel room so I could have my own space. My parents were surprised and tried to remind me of the cost, but I told them not to worry. I have a good job and a reliable car, so I can afford it. That's when the argument started. I explained my reasons for wanting to do things differently this time. I want to enjoy this vacation as an adult and not feel like a child like last year. My parents told my sister about my plans, and she called me angrily. She said I'd ruin the vacation if I didn't help with her kids. I got upset and yelled back, telling her how she always made me babysit last year. I didn't get to do what I wanted, like going to an art gallery. I'm a grown man, and I deserve to enjoy my vacation too. Now my sister isn't talking to me, and my parents want me to ride with them to avoid conflict. I'm still saying no, but it's hard with all the pressure. Am I wrong for sticking to my decision? I know it'll be tough for my sister to handle her kids without anyone's help. Update. It's only been an hour since I posted, but my sister saw it on Reddit. She's really mad at me and upset that people in the comments aren't taking her side. She went on a big rant about how hard it is to raise triplets and how I should help because I'm young, single, and she needs a break. I didn't change my mind, so now she's calling our parents to get them involved. I'm waiting for their call. Update. I finished work, so I can tell you more about what happened it's all done now. My sister got her parents involved. They saw my post and were shocked by all the comments. They're mad that I posted here, but I told them if they listened to me in the first place, I wouldn't have needed to. I'm tired of always having to keep the peace at my expense. They got mad at my sister instead. Long story short, the vacation is canceled. The hotel wasn't booked yet, but my parents are arguing with my sister. She's blaming me, and my nephews are upset they're not going to the beach. My sister called me at lunch and hinted that I don't have a life, so I should help. I recorded it and told our parents, and that's what they're arguing about now. Small update. I wasn't going to update again, but here's a little more. Parents said that they won't ever push babysitting of my nephews on me again and have agreed that what happened last year was unfair to me. Right now, they're very angry with my sister for telling me I should help her because she thinks I have no life. My sister is playing the victim, and my brother-in-law is basically saying nope to the whole mess and spending most of his time at work. Thank you to everyone who has commented. You made my day. Update 1. My parents said sorry, but my sister didn't. At least not at first. A week ago, I made this new account to ask if I was wrong. Turns out, I wasn't. There's so much to tell that I couldn't fit into the original post, so a friend suggested I come here. When I asked if I was wrong, it caused a lot of trouble in my family. Basically, my parents and older sister got used to me helping with my young triplet nephews. I stayed home until I was 22 to save money while going to college. A scholarship helped a lot, and living at home kept me from getting too much debt because I worked part-time. I'm really grateful for that. But after college, everyone acted like I had all the time in the world and dragged me on a family vacation. During that vacation, I had to babysit my three six-year-old nephews. I even had to share a hotel room with them. And let me tell you, those kids didn't listen to anything I said. On the first night of the trip, I had to call their mom twice because the kids were misbehaving. But I got blamed for wanting to do other things during the vacation. It seemed like if the whole family didn't like something, it didn't happen, which was unfair because I'm part of the family and didn't get a say. I told my parents about this after my last post, 
and they admitted they were wrong. After that terrible vacation last year, I decided to move out before the summer ended, which surprised everyone because I didn't warn them. I got a great job right after college thanks to an internship and moved to cut my commute from 45 minutes to 15. My sister was mad because she wouldn't get free babysitting on weekends anymore, but she still tried to make me do it. Sometimes I gave in, especially if there was pizza involved, and it became a habit. But last month, my parents said we're going on another family vacation to the same place, and they wanted it to go the same way as last time. I quickly realized it was a setup. If I let my parents book the hotel rooms and rode with them, I'd end up in the same mess as last time. So I calmly said I'd drive myself and pay for my own stuff. That's when everything blew up. My parents begged me, and my sister tried to pressure me by making me doubt myself. But I didn't give in. After standing up to my sister, I posted on Am I the Jerk? Because of all the pressure, my sister found the post in less than an hour, and things got messy. At first, my family was against me. My sister called our parents, who then called me in the morning. They were on the phone with me while reading my post. They tried to say it was exaggerated, but I pointed out details that showed it was true. Then I told them to check the comments. There were too many for them to read, so I kept updating them. I told them I was tired of always having to make peace by giving in to my sister. Then I told them I had to go, and we'd talk more later. My parents were shocked to see hundreds, maybe thousands of comments in just a few hours. Later, I updated them that the numbers had doubled and were still growing, which made them even more shocked, so they had to really think about what they'd done. My sister kept trying to call me while I was at work, but my phone was silent until lunchtime, so she could only leave messages and texts. She finally got through to me during lunch. She was upset because my post made our parents mad at her. They argued, and my parents ended up canceling the whole vacation. They later admitted they were embarrassed and blamed each other. They said they were wrong to always make me babysit for free when I wasn't even living at home anymore. They tried to say they didn't charge me rent during college, but I reminded them that kids don't ask to be born, and I was trying my best to make my own way. Then I reminded my parents that my dad got the same help from his parents when he was in college. That ended the argument. When my sister called me at lunch, I told her the facts and she didn't react well. She basically said I don't have a life and should spend my weekends helping her because she's tired and can't go out without her kids unless someone watches them. But she's a stay-at-home mom with a husband who makes good money, and they own their house. My nephews aren't really my responsibility. They just assumed they were. My sister hung up angrily, but I recorded the call and played it for my parents later. They were mad and fought with my sister, she blamed me and insisted my life should revolve around hers. I told her that was selfish. It took days, but her husband made her apologize to me. She seemed really sorry, which was unusual for her. It came out that one reason I was always asked to babysit was because my sister didn't trust strangers. It wasn't really about the money, but maybe it was. My brother-in-law thought my sister caved me for babysitting. But after I moved out, she didn't even give me gas money. She just gave me cash, enough for pizza for me and the kids and kept the rest. She'd been shortchanging me for months. He got mad when he found out during her weak apology. She had to pay me back from her own savings, which she didn't like. Then he apologized for not standing up for me and promised to hire a babysitter from now on. It'll cost them, but my sister will get her date nights back. We had a family meeting where we all talked things out. There were apologies all around. Then my parents said we're still having the family vacation. I'm still driving myself and paying for my own hotel. If my sister tries to make me babysit again, I'll stay in a different hotel. She promised she won't do that. If I don't update after the vacation in a month, everything's fine. Update 2. My sister called me, demanding I delete my posts. She's even more upset now that she knows how many people saw them. It's not great having a family that knows about your Reddit account. Yesterday, she called me after work to ask if comments were still coming in. She said she couldn't handle reading them herself because they were all mean to her. So I told her the truth. About 10 comments still come in every day, and they mostly say the same things about her. 
She started crying and begged me to delete my posts. But I said no. I told her she can cry to anyone she wants, but the posts stay up because they're my way of making sure she doesn't treat me badly again. She basically thought my life should revolve around hers, didn't pay me for babysitting, and made me babysit all the time during last year's family vacation. So I didn't have any fun. It's no surprise people hate her for treating me like that. When I mentioned that the posts had spread to other websites and some articles and videos were made about it, she screamed and hung up. Then my parents called, begging me to delete the post. I said no because they didn't stand up for me. If they told my sister to treat me like an equal instead of a servant, none of this would have happened. I'm not her servant or babysitter. I'm her brother, and I'm grown up. Wouldn't they be tired of this if they were in my shoes? They agreed but still begged me to delete the post. I said no and told them I'll keep posting if they don't stand up for me more when my sister complains. Let her solve her own problems because enabling her caused this mess. I didn't have those kids. I have my own life, a new career, and I want to ask someone out soon. I'm moving forward and I won't let them hold me back. They can either support me or keep enabling my sister, but I warned them that enabling her would end badly. I said I'd only stop posting if the drama stops. I kept things anonymous and I have the right to vent my frustrations. My mom cried, my dad stayed silent, and I told them tears won't change my mind. They know what they need to do to end this, stop enabling my sister. So my sister called again to yell at me because our parents told her they're not getting involved and she needs to sort things out herself. They also told her to be nicer to me. I could practically see her eyes twitching when she heard that. I was pretty sarcastic with her, and she ended up crying when I hung up. Later, my brother-in-law called to hear my side of the story. He was upset that I'm still posting and made his wife cry, but I explained everything to him, and he said he'd talk to my sister again. I hope this drama ends now, but the family vacation is still on for late June. I've already booked my own room and asked for a day off work so we can leave on a Friday. My room isn't near my parents, sisters, Bill's, and nephew's rooms. It's not even on the same floor. When we go to the coast, if it's not a family activity, I'm going to do what I want. I'll visit art galleries, eat local food, and just enjoy myself for a change. Update 3. The family vacation is over, and some things went as expected, both good and bad. Good because my parents didn't let my sister make me babysit. Oh, she tried, but it didn't work. But it was bad because my sister tried to find out which room I was in, which got her in trouble with her husband again. First, I told the hotel not to give out any of my information to anyone except the police. They promised they wouldn't. On the day of the vacation, I left earlier than the rest of the family. They wouldn't be ready until at least 10 a.m., so I left at 9 a.m. check-in wasn't until 1 p.m., but I wanted to be early. I sent a group text and headed out to make the three-hour drive. My parents were upset because they had planned a family brunch on the way, but I didn't know about it, so we just had fast food instead. When I got to the hotel, it was too early to check in, but I told the staff not to give out my information to my parents or sister. They said they don't do that, but I told them I know it sometimes happens, so I'm being careful. I told them not to give out my information if my mom, sister, or nephews tried to ask for it. They promised only I would have access to my room. Then I went out to eat. When I came back over an hour later, I saw my parents' car and my brother-in-law's SUV. I made sure the lobby was empty before checking in. The clerk said my family asked about me and where I was staying, but they refused to tell them. My sister tried to push it, but her husband stopped her. I checked in, went to my room, and called my parents. I didn't mention what happened with the clerk, and they didn't bring it up either. Then we all met up as a family to go out and explore. At one point, my sister asked me to watch her kids for a bit. I refused because I knew what she was up to. She'd say she'd be back soon but end up gone for ages. I called her out, and her husband told her to stop asking me to babysit. Instead, she started crying, saying she needed a break. Her husband reminded her that he's tired too, but he's not complaining. My mom gave me a mean look, 
So I went over and told her if she even thought I should babysit. I leave the vacation right then. It's not my job, and I'm tired of them treating me like it is. That made my mom cry too, and she kept saying you're right over and over. It's an old trick of hers to make me feel guilty, but I just said, I am right, and walked away. Neither my mom nor sister tried anything for the rest of the day. When we got back to the hotel after dinner, my family crowded into the elevator, but I waited for the next one. My sister gave me a mean look because she knew what I was up to. I sat in the lobby watching you two for 15 minutes before taking the elevator up. I was on a different floor, far away from them. I had a great night. The next morning, we all went out for breakfast, but I made sure they left first. I was the last one out, just like the night before. Breakfast was good. Then I told them I'd be doing my own thing for the day. My mom mentioned plans to go to the aquarium and some other places, so I said I'd meet them later, but the rest of the day was mine. They agreed, and the day went well. When we got back to the hotel that evening, my sister saw me leaving my room. She must have been searching the whole floor to find me. I went back to my room to rest before dinner because I was tired from walking. My sister was nearby. When I left my room for dinner, she tried to corner me and said I'd ruin the vacation for her because she had to take care of her kids alone. I disagreed because our parents were helping her a lot. I told her I'm tired of being blamed for everything and to leave me alone. I started walking, ignoring her yelling. She followed me to the elevator, but we didn't talk. I told my parents and brother-in-law that my sister had stalked me to find my room. She was scolded and she had a pity party. I told her to stop acting like a victim and grow up. The days when she could control me were gone. Then I left the lobby and went to my car. This time, I got to dinner first. When everyone else arrived, my sister looked sad, but we didn't talk about what happened before. And that was okay with me. My sister didn't talk to me the whole evening, and I didn't care about riding in the elevator with them. I told them not to disturb me unless it was an emergency, because I had the do not disturb sign on my door. The last day went smoothly. Neither my sister nor my mother bothered me. They had given up by then. During the vacation, I played with my nephews a bit. I'm not mean. I just didn't want to babysit. The kids didn't mind. They just wanted to play. I even bought them each a little bag of crystals and stones as a souvenir. There were some small arguments between my sister and her husband, but I ignored them. Overall, I'd say the vacation was a success because my mother and sister realized they couldn't control me anymore. Update 4. My mother and sister saw my last post. They just can't leave things alone. I warned them that if they didn't stop, I'd go back to Reddit, and here I am. The short version is that they freaked out after seeing my post. My sister had been checking my account for days because she knew I'd post something. Well, what did she expect? That I would just say everything was fine. She called me and cried, saying I made her look like a bad mother. I replied, well, if the shoe fits. My sister argued with me more, but I asked her to name anything in the post that wasn't true. She tried, but I pointed out that every detail was correct. So what did she do? She called mom. Then my mother showed up at my door demanding I delete all the posts. I said no, and now I have more material for another post. I ended up making her leave crying. I had a serious talk with my parents on the phone later. I told them that their support of my sister's behavior caused all the problems in the family. I made it clear that I won't go back to the way things were, so they shouldn't hope for it. My parents then told my sister to stop blaming me and leave me alone. They can't handle the stress anymore. My sister felt sorry for herself, but my parents snapped her out of it. My brother-in-law has a cult. I think he's trying to stay out of the drama, but this can't be good for his marriage or our relationship. So out of respect for him, I'm sorry, but your wife went too far. My parents want my sister to get counseling because she can't handle being a mom and trying to keep up her old habits. She needs to be responsible. I hope this is my last post. If my sister keeps treating me like her personal servant and blaming me for everything, we can't be around each other. Maybe we can move past this if she's willing to change. I won't write anything else about her on Reddit. I'll only talk about my own experiences. 
If she treats me with respect, this will all be over. Got it? Update 5. My parents and I had a long chat and they apologized. We've decided to keep some distance until Thanksgiving. I also talked with my brother-in-law over beers last night. He's making my sister get counseling or he might leave her. They're finding a counselor for her now. He said my sister was mean to me at home, but she's a loving wife. He also said she had some issues from being an only child. She agreed to counseling and will go when they set it up. They found a babysitter for my nephews too. My brother-in-law also said he was mad at me but didn't help when he should have. We agreed it was a bad situation, so we're putting it to rest. Lastly, these posts helped me get a girlfriend. She figured out it was me and waited for me to say something. We're going on our first date tonight. Thanks to everyone here for the support. It meant a lot.